Hi, we're here at the 16th Horasis India Meet, and I have the pleasure of being with the CEO and the founder of Only Women, Vidyotama Sharma. Hello. Welcome, Vidyotama. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Such a pleasure. Such a pleasure. So tell me, we're in Athens. How are you finding it? I'm loving. Yeah. I had always, uh, Athens was always on my bucket list. Yeah. And uh, thanks to Frank and Horasis, I'm here. So uh, tonight, when the program ends, I'm going to go out and explore your Check city. Check out the Acropolis. Absolutely, absolutely. So Vidyotama, tell me a little bit about Only Women. Only women. Okay. Tell me a little bit. I'll just uh, give you a background. I have sure. been a journalist for over two decades. Mm -hmm. And I always felt that women in different domains met at the forums of those domains. Like if, hmm. if it was a pharmaceutical company, then women would Absolutely. meet there. Absolutely. Uh, at a journalist meet, we would meet each other. Yeah. I thought there was a need for a domain agnostic community of women where they all come, they share their experiences, there is a strong bonding, etc. And uh, this was an idea with me, Trisha, for mm. say about six, seven years. Yeah. And luckily I took the plunge a Amazing. few months ago. And yeah. the response I got was yeah. very, very good. So we have uh, senior women professionals right. across domains. Right. We have um, uh, senior officers of uh, national banks. Mm. We have journalists, authors, wow. CHROs. Yeah. Okay. And CEOs, managing yeah. directors of companies, owners of companies, incredible architects, incredible. Uh, film stars, actors. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have uh, film and OTT directors, producers. So it is a an, an amalgamation of women. Yeah. So it's so if I get it correctly, it's peer to peer networking for That's women right. across different industries. That's right. That's incredible. And tell me something. It, how do you how do you find uh, these you know these incredible women? Is it invite only? Um, do they find uh, uh, do they find you? Uh, you know how does one get access to this incredible platform? Okay. So Trisha, we began it as an invite uh, membership by invitation uh, okay. community. Uh, we've recently launched our website. So yeah. uh, since we are very new, so we are still in the process. We recently. Uh, People are recommending women, yes. and then we have a managing committee. Yeah. So we put it, uh, put their resumes or their profiles Amazing. before that, and we take a decision. And uh, even if we have to not take a particular woman on board at the moment, we will never say no. Yeah. We will say we will be beginning some something in this direction a little later. Amazing. And we will. So we began with senior women professionals, yeah. in a membership by invitation. Absolutely. We are opening it up a little. Fantastic. We are now also inviting uh, mid cadre women professionals right. because there is something called a mentorship involved. Absolutely. We feel we need a lot more women leaders. Yeah. And since there are already very senior women over here, yeah. so they can mentor, the younger ones can come uh, along and they can um, learn while interacting Absolutely. with them. So the succession share. planning and the cascading right. this very right. important message uh, that you have. Tell me one more thing, Vidyotma, when it comes to, you know, one of the questions sometimes jokingly men might ask, you know, uh, uh, you know, why a women's club? Why don't we have more men's clubs instead? What, what do you think is the importance and the need for peer-to-peer -peer networking like this at a time, uh, at a juncture like this, okay. in your view? Uh, we, Trisha, are at a stage where diversity, equity, inclusion, mm. and uh, we are now adding another word to it, belonging. Belonging. Is, yeah, yes. it's, it's become a worldwide trend. Yeah. However, I, be, uh, I believe that uh, we have a long way to go, yeah. though of course we're reaching somewhere. Yeah. Nobody is stopping men from interact. Okay. <laughs> yes. Men do interact. <laughs> they do. I've and, seen the bars. <laughs> uh, and the, the statements I'm going to make before that, I do want to say only women is not a political organization. Mm. It is not anti-men. Yes. Not anti-men. We need men. Yeah, we, we need men. We, we, need men. we all have to uh, stay together. Absolutely. Right? And uh, we are not, um, what do you say, an activist group. Hmm. However, I believe that men have access to informal meetings a lot more than women do. Hmm. Because women multitask, mm -hmm. they are playing quite a few roles mm -hmm. and um, at the cost of offending a few uh, male friends, mm -hmm. I feel that men come with a sense of entitlement <laughs> yeah? and quite a few male mm -hmm. colleagues and friends of mine mm -hmm. say that. Women are still yeah. fighting a battle to find their place. Yeah. Of course, there are many have. And they have been at the table a little yeah, longer. A little longer. 
so um, if i tell you that a man the moment his work gets over can pick up his uh, laptop yes and go for drinking with his male friends mm -hmm. how many women can do that not that they don't mm -hmm. not that we uh, don't go out with friends yeah. but how many have the luxury to do it because mm -hmm. they have their children they have yeah. their in-laws they have their parents wa uh, waiting back then they have yeah. their cooking waiting for them in the kitchen you right know? i'm talking right. about the asian societies yeah. and i was talking to uh, quite a few people i met here mm. from los angeles mm. and from germany and from different parts of europe it's the same story everywhere yeah proportion might vary Yes. So there's nothing wrong with men interacting more but I think women need it a lot more. And it's intentional with what you're doing. It's yes. Uh that uh, see to have this whole thing of intentional inclusion mm. there is a dire need for women to connect. Mm. Quite a few women who are in positions mm. also do not know their right one. Yes. If they know their right they do not know if they'll get support. Yes. Now I'll give you an example. We have a member in Only Women mm. and she in her career and in her personal life she went through a few challenges. So initially she was reluctant to come to the meetings but mm. when she came and she began sharing mm. and she said this was like a catharsis for me. Yeah. Because there are women who are listening and who are understanding you. Yes. Who been there? been there done that uh, you know and that sometimes that's just really important yeah. to, to 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 voice out something is just something. so cathartic like you said yeah and she said just sharing it yeah. and today even if she is flying after uh, her work from mm. a city she says i am coming straight to the meeting and she looks forward to coming to that that's meeting that's incredible i believe we women need that bonding we yeah. just want maybe an assurance you're mm. facing a problem yeah. i'm there you yeah. got a shoulder to cry on yes. okay i okay. understand yeah i understand you i feel you yes okay. i feel you no, yeah absolutely. i feel you and the other thing is okay in such a such a situation when i faced mm. or my colleague faced or my friend faced this is what we did so let us let us sit down and sort it out yeah i do it forget about the members yeah. like there are challenges i face it's of a course. new organization and i have a few friends and mm. i just pick up the phone any time of the day and i said listen this happened what do you think what do you think and yeah. then she puts it in in a certain certain perspective yes. and i said yeah it makes me feel better yeah so we do need that sort of thing you Absolutely. know and uh, yeah if I men have it why not i read somewhere uh, it's lonely at the top but it's a bit lonelier for women yes yeah one both are right yes it has been lonely at the top yeah because there are times uh, at at the mid carder level trisha mm -hmm. you would mm -hmm. have seen uh, you know when we're sitting together when we're yeah. eating together yeah. having breaks etc it's yeah. okay the moment you go at the top so that position yeah. brings a certain gap not that you yes. are intending it no it just comes with the position absolutely and you you are at times dying to talk to somebody yes. even if if the woman is at a mid carder level exactly. you just want to see it that look absolutely the, uh, uh, the boss yeah. called and said this but you can't but you can't you can't yeah your and hands are more tied yeah. yeah and and when you say that it is more lonely for women mm. basically because women have played this role of being at home and looking at certain things and pointing mm -hmm. out certain things so yeah. the husband says ha ah, okay it happened you know yeah. not when uh, very many women have husbands who give them an ear to vent yeah. out okay? and that support is required yeah you know, from, yeah from of course it's happening now yes. it's happening and, and i incredible. ought to say that i'm here because i had a brilliant support from my husband amazing yeah but amazing. i also have that friends that you take the plunge uh, yeah, i did uh, i did this, because of this incredible friend. venture yeah yeah but i also have very good friends who yeah. didn't have that support right and you know it it sort of shatters you yeah. it breaks you up yeah so the idea behind only women is hmm. we are there yeah. we are together yeah and gradually i don't think it will happen in a day or two we will involve men and create an ecosystem where yes. we all grow together absolutely we are in this life on this earth together so there is no way that uh, we should we'll live in silos yeah absolutely we will all grow together there is a need to sensitize men and there is a need to give women the ground beneath their feet yeah. which has been snatched away and i believe gradually when the we are on a level playing field yeah. i think it's going to be pretty good for both even men absolutely yeah? absolutely um, and one more question for you uh, vidyatma what is some advice you know uh, knowing what you know now as uh, as a senior female leader what's your advice 
to the next generation of women leaders that are in the workforce right now. What are the certain things, knowing what you know now, you wish you would have done differently uh, when you were slightly, you know, when you were in I the middle? I feel today's uh, Gen Z yeah. is already very empowered, okay? Mm -hmm. um, however, because they are not scared to say what they say, they yes. want to say. And uh, they know, they're very clear in their mind what they want. Uh, we were not very sure about the work-life balance, okay? We didn't have the courage to go for it. Hmm. They do. However, what I feel is, even if your family is holding you back, hmm. try to engage them in a conversation hmm. and go after your dreams. Hmm. This is one life you get. Yeah. Don't hold yourself back. If you feel that you want to fly, you at least make an attempt. You may not go to the sky. You'll be somewhere here, but at least you tried. So sure. uh, do not be afraid and do not be afraid of saying no, that is very, very important. We women have this problem of not saying no when yeah. we actually want to say it. Yeah. And this is something I say, you want to say no, just say no. Where you want, uh, uh, you want your boundaries, say it. And you feel that that position belongs to you, please go all out and get it. Okay, Fantastic. there is no need for you to step back because forget you are a woman when you are working, you're working as a man or a woman, doesn't matter, you're working. That That's is like. absolutely incredible and really inspirational. It makes you want to get up and uh, run for the goalposts. No, thank you so much. That was absolutely incredible, Vidyotma. And I'm really sure women's only, not just for the current generation of women, but for the future generation, will create quite the legacy. I Thank love you talking to you, much. Trisha. And I'm so. sure next time when we come uh, from Only Women, we'll Absolutely. be much, many more in Absolutely. the delegation. Thank Such you Such a much. pleasure. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you.